Hello and welcome back to the garage. It is Saturday and uh, I've been really doing more of the assembly. So in here you can see I've got the torque tubes installed now. Uh, they're not torqued down, but at least they're installed. And I will tell you that uh, to get some of these washers in here, especially when we're dealing with uh, down here in this section, very hard. And the one thing that I was able to let out was this, uh, this wrench, or I guess it's a little tool, a washer tool that I mentioned in the previous video. Worked out really well, helps out quite a bit. But yeah, so got it down. One thing I did notice though, is when I pull the controls back all the way and I go side to side, if you look down here, you can actually see that this, actually making contact down here with the nut and I think that's just because I don't have the elevator shaft on and the elevator and therefore uh, it gets further movement than it needs to so I think that's the problem but uh, I'll certainly validate it and make sure uh, meanwhile like I said everything is assembled it's just not torque so that's the next thing I'll need to do <clears throat> the other thing that I did is uh, I took this opportunity to install this. You can see it here. Um, it's the bracket for the Ada Harsh unit. And uh, this I got from Vance. It is option 60, as you can see here. It's pretty straightforward. Now it's right up like that between the, the stringers. It's nice and secure, and if you want, you can do uh, the dual, put one on top and one underneath, and just wire them together. But, uh, you know, I thought about fabricating it myself, but I figured this would make it a lot easier. And uh, I think there's enough fabrication going on, so I think that's just, uh, that's it. So, not too much of an update. I've been really working on more of the, you know, getting the, the new work area prepped. Uh, running all the hose lines that I wanted and uh, also <clears throat> you know obviously I put the cowling on here one of the other things I will do is I am going to put on uh, sky bolts uh, v-locks on here so those are the cam locks just the top portion instead of the uh, hinge the rest will be the same but that certainly won't be and so i wanted to get that because i'm getting ready to kind of tie this uh to to rivet this down and then the other thing i've got to do is figure out how my avionics bay is going to work i'll probably do that in another video as well just kind of show everyone how i'm planning on doing all the wiring and uh, hopefully it'll help somebody else down the road no guarantees but you'll get kind of the gist of it anyway quick update enjoy So I started to work on the cowling attach. Uh, here I've just got everything prepped. There's a shim in here on both sides, getting ready to drill it out. But uh, as I go through this, I'll give everyone an update. Enjoy. Hi everybody. Sunday, November 1st. And I've been working on the cowling attach points so here you can see this one's already done i've already drilled it match drilled it and i have all the clicos in place one of the things that you have to do is uh, make sure that in here you can't see the shim you don't want the shim protruding because you want that to be a nice flush face for when you put the uh, cowling on there and also you'll notice the pin is in here that's to make sure that as you're doing this you don't deform it um, so that they can go back together to it as well. But basically the process I went through is like this on this side. I haven't drilled this one yet. Um, you go fabricate your shim, put a single hole in the shim and in your hinge. Um, it marks pretty straightforward how you do that. And then you're just clamping it in place. You've got a line on the back of the shim so you can line it up. The key here is to kind of make it as much as possible parallel so that it looks good. And then you just clamp it on like that. 
and then you go through the match drilling. So I'm going to get back to that, and then I will show you. Here's actually you can see the shim here. Um, I don't have anything on here yet, but uh, when I get to putting the uh, the sky bolts on here for the V locks or the cam locks, um, I'll show that as well. Just kind of how I'm doing it. Still haven't quite figured out where you start and where you end with those, but uh, I'll go through and work it through it. Anyway, have a great day. Bye. Hey everybody, trying out uh, a test fit of these Skybolt um, cam locks. And uh, as you can see here, I've just kind of got it clamped in place. I'm not sure about it. I'm trying to decide how far down I can go. I don't have the cowling, so I want to make sure that I go down far enough that I can do the cowling, but not too far that it becomes a problem. Right now, there's 15 of these clamped on here, and it's roughly the same. It's actually pretty close to being the same on both sides. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to drill these out or uh, wait, though I did see one thing that explains a couple of comments that I've seen. You know, people say when they put these on, they don't need the shim. Down here we have a shim in between the hinge and the skin to account for the thickness of the fiberglass. Some people were saying with the sky bolts or these uh, cam locks, they don't need the shim. But I think it may be depending on how you actually mount these on. So here is one of the brackets for it that I've got. And you can see there's a little groove there. So if you put this on to the plane like so, the next one slides underneath here and it's gonna be flush to the plane, the skin. However, if I turn it over this way, you can see that now what's gonna happen is it's gonna hold this away from the plane and only this piece will be flush. So that may be why some people have experienced it. I don't know. Um, I'll certainly play with it a little bit more and try to understand it. But uh, so far, that's how I'm thinking I'm going to do it. I'm just going to see if I can find some dimensions for the cowling to see how far down it goes. But uh, I like this. And then these hinges, um, now they've been deburred and uh, dimpled, and it works pretty good. I mean, the, the pin comes out pretty easy. Uh, once I bend it over, it'll be a piece of cake and it should be uh, pretty straightforward. The only thing left to do is down here, which I think I'm gonna do what everybody else did. Instead of putting the hinge down there, I'm actually gonna go and uh, put some nut bolts so that we can just screw them on. I don't think the bottom cowling comes off very often and uh, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I just gotta go and uh, get some material to fabricate it, make sure it's strong enough, obviously. You know, these are pretty thick, um, so they have a lot of strength. I'm looking for the same down here. Probably get something about the same thickness of this. I don't know what that is, but I'll have to go look it up. Anyway, here's another quick update on a Sunday. Cheers. Bye. I thought I'd share something I'm testing out here. Basically, got some uh, laminated life-size images and uh, just kind of stuck them on here to see what the panel's going to look like. I've been uh, working on a panel, so anyway, just figured I'd show you that. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, and more to come on the panel in future videos. Cheers.